people as like a whole continuing we need to continue to stand up for each other we need to walk together or setting things on fire that's not what we're trying to do we are literally just trying to like put our point across and we're trying to make them see that we too we need justice and we are people and we deserve to be treated equally welcome back to the channel guys and today we are back with another video based on the title you guys already know what we're going to be talking about i'm just going to like give my opinion on everything that's been going on because i believe that it's something that like should be said and everybody should have their right to like explain Express, how they feel yeah. and i understand that our platform right now is very small but i don't think you know no, regardless of how small it is it's still a topic the topic that's, topic be, like, that's been exactly so um you know i'm just gonna go into it everybody has seen what's going on what's been going on around like america with like police brutality black lives getting like taken away every day and all of that and to be honest with you am i surprised no but um i'm quite disgusted by how like everything is like taking place and how all of this mess is just going about and to be honest with you i just think that if you're sitting at home and you're not doing anything to like kind of show that you're with us or like you're protesting trying to make sure that everybody like have the same amount of freedom that you guys might have because you might be a lighter skin complexion or something like that or maybe white i think that's being ignorant and quite frankly it's kind of sad because majority of you guys are the same people that literally sit here and fight so hard to use the n-word or like try so hard to like only date black people for specific reasons that you guys may have but then when it's time for you guys to like fight for us it's always a big problem or it's like an issue and you don't want to like come out and like say anything because you know all of that so yesterday we went to a protest and it was the one in boston and it was a very peaceful protest about the whole entire um george floyd situation but then it ended up becoming kind of like a looting type thing because they they're in the night time yeah because i guess like the police officers they ended up stopping the trains and they ended up closing everything like the bus the transportation and everything and nobody knew that so they did that silently and then when it's time for people to go home people couldn't go home and then here they are walking around the street the police officers trying to like make them go home but how are you gonna make somebody go home when they don't have any thing to like take them back home i feel like racism with it still going on like literally i feel like a lot of things are happening in this world and the fact that racism is still a big part of it is just ridiculous in my opinion we've been going for, through this for like 400 years and literally i feel like what happened to george floyd was just like the tip of the iceberg the way that he was killed and the acts in in the whole entire thing was just like modern day lynching in my opinion right babe don't you think I, I, that? I agree. I, I mean, like you, got, you got four dudes on um, one guy after he's handcuffed. And, you know, you got you to gotta imagine it this way. Like, the, the view that we got was just a, of one officer. I, I think there was another it view. Was four there was four. But, like, the, the, the camera view only got that one. But, obviously, it got... I think I saw one with another angle with all four of them. Like, they got some people were on his his back um he was already restrained right and then this guy had his neck on top of him and some had people his knee, babe. oh his neck his knee i'm sorry um, i just man it's i just think that the whole entire video itself now this is like because the majority of the people they're probably thinking that we're just protesting we're doing all these riots all of this stuff because of george floyd no there was multiple people that got injured or got killed by police and stuff like that and it's quite sad because it's only one percent of the police officers that are actually being like taken accountable and they're like going to jail and all the all that extra stuff the other ones like they're literally walking around or like their attorney or the judge is making up excuses for them saying oh they didn't have evidence when there's literally a camera right there showing mm -hmm. you everything that's going on and that's only because we are people of color we apparently are not human beings i guess we don't like we don't bleed or anything like that and i feel like also not only is it kind of like a modern day lynching but it also kind of like represent a way of like 
this Asian police officer, he was just sitting there looking, you know, and he's not white. He's a minority just like us. But I feel like it kind of represented how majority of the minorities, they see everything that's going on within the black community and how like, you know, injustice and how black people get treated poorly. But instead of actually sticking up for us and standing up for us, they do absolutely nothing but just sit there and just view and just look at what like mm -hmm. is going on not doing anything so i feel like that kind of has a symbol and also like the white male the white police officer that likes put his knee on her on his neck i feel like that also kind of showed us how the government in a way just does not want black people to be successful in life at all if that makes sense but i also feel like white people they sit here you know like some white people they sit here and they're like oh like i completely understand where you guys are coming from but it's either you guys actually don't understand or you guys understand but choose to look the other way you got to do better as like just the black community within ourselves we got to start standing up for each other the every because every race they come for each other when it's time for like something that happened to them right like Asian people, they always stick together. White people, they always stick together. But for some reason, black people, black folks decide to, oh, they always have some type of say, like self-hate. They never want to like stand up for, it's like the lighter you are, the better you are. And unfortunately, it's stupid. And I feel like that needs to stop because at the end of the day, we are, I feel like the reason why they pick on us so hard is because they see that we do not stand up for like each other, I feel like. I feel like that's why they like try and like kill us and all of that along with obviously our skin complexion but with everything that is going on i do think if you guys are going to go out and protest yesterday i did want to make a vlog about us protesting but i've heard certain things has been happening but um we're just gonna like post a couple of clips in the video but if you are going out and protesting you should be doing it in a like a safe way you're not there trying to bash other people's businesses not graffitiing the walls doing like kill it like kicking or setting things on fire that's not what we're trying to do we are literally just trying to like put our point across and we're trying to make them see that we too we need justice and we are people and we deserve to be treated equally so if you are going to protest just make sure you stay safe and do not try to like start a riot and everything but mm -hmm. at the same time i feel like majority of you guys that are white that are with us with us i feel like you guys are kind of using that as an excuse to start riots and start like graffitiing the walls and breaking things down that's not what we're here to do because then we're going to be blamed the black people are going to be blamed for it not you guys so make sure you guys are safe and make sure that you guys are being careful throughout the whole entire time and just remember what the real reason that we are trying to you know put out there like i said if you are going to go and protest like the protest that we went to was it was peaceful like Man, the, I feel like the people who were there when they were actually protesting, it was something, it was a sight to see. Like, there was a lot of it people, was very nice. you know, <laughs> when but people when know. people actually get together and they stand up for something that they believe in, it, it, it's really beautiful. But the thing is, like, at the end of the night, things started taking a left turn. Most, most, of, the pro, mo, most of the protesters left, so there was just, like, a small few. And the people that were there still, they were, like, still breaking into stuff i'm just i'm just saying like please like if you do go to one just do like peacefully because there's no sense into breaking stuff so at this point we are praying and we are hoping that they can find i know it's going to be like extremely hard and it's going to take a long time for their family to get peace and stuff and some might not even find it but at the end of the day we can only pray for the families for the ones that who got lost but for us black people as like a whole continuing we need to continue to stand up for each other we need to walk together we cannot sit here and let these people that are ignorant we cannot let them get into our heads we are we are beautiful no matter what skin color you are we are worth it people try so hard to like just bring the black communities down all the time and it's like very frustrating because it's uncalled for and that's why i genuinely think that black people need to continue walking together and they need to like be on the lookout for each other because at this like at this point 
it doesn't matter if you're a girl if you're a guy you can literally get killed by the police officer like it's not fair to those people or those parents who have kids and they are kids of color for them to be walking out and for the parents to be freaking out and for the parents to be scared that oh i'm never gonna see my kid ever, like ever again or oh that could be my friend that could be you know my family member it's not fair so guys that's a small little video that i just wanted to put out there into the internet for you guys just so you guys can know that like just so you guys can know our opinion and our thoughts about it i honestly think it goes much much more deeper but this video is gonna be long if i go into that so mm -hmm. make sure you guys are being safe and make sure you guys are wearing the appropriate things for you guys to go and protest and remember to not go around like riding and all that because that is not the purpose of the protest